For most riders, a bike is not just a machine, but an extension of your personality. And Royal Enfield is taking that really seriously. Why? Well, the all-new Shotgun 650 is a class apart from the brand. And it brings a fun, exciting and snazzy appeal to the 650cc platform. In my opinion, it truly is a lifestyle motorcycle and a bobber from a lifestyle brand. If you're wondering what a stunning motorcycle looks like, then this is it. The Shotgun 650 is in no way subtle about its appearance and demands a lot of attention. And it is definitely a head turner. It might be based on the Super Meteor 650, but it looks very distinct and different from the Cruiser. Even the design is quite revamped with these kind of fenders, chopped subframe, mid-set foot pegs, the sporty fuel tank, and of course the graphics are a lot more sporty than any other RE 650cc bike, which aligns well with the brand's goal. Sure, it is the same engine as the other 650s, with the same power and torque figures, but, 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 there seems to be something different. What? Well, primarily the state of tune and throttle calibration. There is a little bit of hooliganism to it, which really screams, I am here to have some fun. The shotgun is pretty eager to go and feels a lot more peppy than its siblings. We shall do a road test to find out how different the engine tuning actually is. But the thing is, that same peppiness makes it slightly less smooth as compared to the buttery performance on the other 650s. The vibrations are really prominent on this one, on the seat, the foot pegs and the handlebar as well. For instance, first gear 40 kmph and second gear 55 kmph makes this bike a bum massager. Apart from that, it's the same engine, so not much different there in any other aspect. There is one annoying bit though, the position of the gear lever. It feels too low, making you fight with the lever when trying to shift up. This isn't the Super Meteor, so well, it isn't as comfortable and relaxed like a couch. Instead, it is more upright, with mid-set foot pegs, taller seat height and narrow low set handlebar. So technically, it is a tad bit sportier and the perfect bobber. So while most riders would have a stretched out riding stance, taller people like me will be in a more comfortable position. Even the seat is pretty roomy and keeps you well cushioned no matter what. Everything aside, the most mind-boggling thing is just how much lighter the shotgun feels as compared to the Super Meteor or even the GT650. It feels about 20 kgs or so lighter, which makes it more agile and nimble. Because the bobber has a shorter wheelbase and different rake angle compared to the Super Meteor 650. The funny thing is, on paper, it is just 1 kg lighter than its cruiser sibling. So with the weight, the riding posture and its agile behavior, this makes for an excellent urban motorcycle. A bit bratty even. In other words, it's fun and the perfect bobber. Now it isn't the most sophisticated suspension setup, but it is pretty supple and does a decent job in keeping you mostly comfortable. So in that matter, it is significantly different from the Super Meteor. There is one thing that bugged me a lot and that's the brakes. For some reason, the brakes on this particular motorcycle don't feel as effective as the other 650s. The lack of initial bite on the front brake reduces confidence and the sharp bite on the rear brakes triggers ABS kickback constantly. So in this department, there is an imbalance. This is not just a motorcycle, it is a statement. It is something a rider would associate with his or her personality. It is fun, exciting, bratty and it looks so good man. Sure, it is a single seat bobber, but RE has thought of that as well. You see, it already gets pillion foot pegs in place. All you need to do is attach an optional seat to the rear subframe and you're good to go. So it's not really everyone's cup of tea, but if you are a rider who loves bobbers and something exciting, then this one's definitely for you. 
Now what remains to comment on is the price. So Royal Enfield is going to reveal the price of this bike the day this video goes live. You can find that out in the pinned comment below. That said, the Shotgun 650 would make for an interesting offering, especially considering that there is no other bobber in this segment. But there's a lot to this bike and there's a lot that's different. So the intricacies of it all is something that we shall find out when we put this bike through a proper road test. Until then, stay tuned to Zig Wheels and I shall see you again very soon.